Hey, so a dilation is a kind of transformation of a shape where uh, the original shape, let's say triangle, um, this little triangle here, is multiplied by a scale factor to make it, uh, in this case, bigger. Um, you can also have dilations that make shapes smaller. But the, the main point is they, they keep the same shape and they're just made bigger or smaller. And um, dilations are done relative to um, a center point and in this example we're just going to do the center point um, will be the or the origin 0 0 which will greatly simplify things and then if you really want to just go crazy and do dilations based on centers that are not the origin you can learn how to do that later in life like next week if you really want to um, but we're just going to do the basic dilation where the, the objects are centered around the origin so I want to start with um, looking at these two triangles and figuring out what the scale factor is that got this small triangle to become the bigger one. And then we'll um, start with that small triangle and multiply it by a different scale factor. So you'll see it two different ways. Alright, so the way we do that is we need to record um, all the coordinates of the, the important points of the shape here. So A, B, and C are the two points, are the three points. Um, so let's let's write those down. So I'm gonna call this I'm gonna call this just triangle one. How about that one? Uh, yeah, just remember the small one is triangle one. That's what we're starting with. So point A is at, um, and we can assume that these lines are just just represent one unit. Okay, so no weird scale or anything on my coordinate plane. So um, the x coordinate is negative one. We go from the origin to negative one, and then y is negative two. So negative 1, negative 2, um, yeah, alright, I'm going to rewrite that too, that's a little better, okay, um, B is, let's see, so it's at x equals 0, it's uh, right on the y-axis there, and then 1, 2, 3, so y is positive 3, so 0, 3, 3, and then point C, where are we here? So um, this is 0, 1, so x is 1. And then y is negative uh, 1, negative 2. All right, so now we just need to record the locations of the corresponding points in the dilated figure. And we'll look and see what did all the points get multiplied by to, to, to become the dilated figure. OK, so I'm going to write down triangle 2 here. Um, points points A, B, and C on triangle two. Th th these are these are the corresponding um, vertices uh, of the triangles here. So um, point A for the bigger triangle is at negative one, negative two, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So negative two, negative four. What about B? We've got uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, that's the y coordinate. It's at zero five. Yeah, zero. Good catch. Good catch. Zero. Five. No, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, struggling with that point B. Zero six. All right, here we go. We're on a roll. Okay, that's zero six, and then C is at one two. X is two. Let me just write that down straight away. And then negative one, two, three, four. So negative four. Okay, so let's see. Um, to dilate something around the origin, you just multiply all the coordinates by the scale factor. So how do we get from negative one to negative two, or negative two to negative four, or zero to zero, or three to six, or one to to two or negative two to negative negative four, um, you could just eyeball it and say the scale factor is two. Or if you want to check your math, just take a couple of points here. So a couple of corresponding um, y coordinates, let's say, um, and just divide the second one by the first one. So six divided by three is two. You can check it, check another uh, pair of, of uh, x coordinates, let's say. Um, second one, 2 to 1, 2 
to 1. 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. So you just check and see that all the, the coordinates were multiplied by a factor of 2. So the scale factor for um, transforming the small triangle into the larger one um, by a dilation is 2. All right, so now let's, let's do it the other way. Let's start with the small triangle and pick a scale factor and then create the new triangle. So I'm going to pause this, get rid of all this junk, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. All right, so I got rid of that stuff and started over here from scratch. I've got my triangle 1 here. Um, and I wrote, wrote down the, um, rewrote the coordinates of each of the three vertices, um, points A, B, and C. Um, so, and then I'm getting ready to write the coordinates of our new triangle, our dilated triangle. I'm um, calling that triangle 2. Very creative. And um, I'm going to mark down points A, B, and C for the new triangle. And actually, I put a little tick mark there with each of the um, vertices and that you would read that as a prime or b prime which just means like a version of the original a you know so it's a little that's a little bonus for you so our scale factor is going to be three and what that means is um, since we're dilating this with respect to the origin all we need to do is multiply each of the coordinates of the original points by three and that'll give us the new points for the triangle, uh, for triangle two. And then all we have to do is plot those points, and we'll we'll, we'll see, we'll behold the splendor of our new dilated triangle. Okay, so we we'll just multiply each of these by three. So negative one times three is negative three. Uh, negative two times three is negative six. Zero times three is zero. Three times three is nine. Uh, 1 times 3 is 3 and negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 okay so let's just let's just plot those points to see where our new triangle is so point a prime is negative 3 6 or negative 3 negative 6 so 1 2 3 that's negative 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay what about b prime that's 0, 9, so 0, and then y coordinate is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Off the charts. Uh, C prime is 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. There we go. Let's connect the points. Actually, let's just, let's just grab this triangle. Should be able to get something that fits pretty well there. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. Okay, so there's our there's our triangle um, dilated with a scale factor of three. Quite a quite a big change. So kind of looks like a s spaceship. Kind of thinking Star Wars, um, Star Destroyer maybe.